Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'm talking about Lightroom's virtual copies versus snapshots. What are they? How are they different? And when do I use either or both of them? This was a question I got from Jorge and I'm gonna answer that today. And if you've got questions about photography, drop them in the comments below or shoot me a message through my website if you wanna keep it private. I'm always looking to hear what's on other people's minds photographically. And if there's something you think I can help out with it, let me know. So uh, what are these things? Snapshots and virtual copies. Uh, to explain them, fully and so you can really appreciate the differences between them. Let me take one step back and talk about non-destructive editing, which is what Lightroom does, right? So with Lightroom, we have our base image and then we add instructions to that. We adjust sliders, we turn on filters and add graduated filters and add radial filters, all that stuff. And those are instructions that get added to our base image to produce a final result and that final result we can export now what we have with snapshots is within a set of those instructions we can pick a point in time and say i want these to be like a save point like a checkpoint and let me show you that with an example so i've got this photo here this is a completed photo and i've created a few snapshots along the way but we can look at our history first so here is the editing history so all these edits so all the way down at the bottom is my very first thing that i did and then all the way up at the top is the very last thing that i did and along the way i can create a point in time snapshot and so i did that here i have a few snapshots and if you watch this window here you can see the progression you know first i did a crop and then i added the camera profile making it black and white did basics, I evened out the exposure, added a little more details, and then finally did finishing touches to get to my final result. So each one of these points along the way, if I wanted to go back and revisit something specific, I can always go to my history and look at you know an, an, a given entry. But if I had a specific checkpoint, I can create a snapshot for that. How do you do that? Anytime you're editing, you can hit the plus here and say create a new snapshot it will take whatever your current status is of all your edits and create a snapshot if for any reason you wanted to go back in time and do it through history you can pick any point in history right click and do the same thing now how are snapshots useful quite honestly the only time i ever use them is when I'm doing an educational video. Those become uh, easy ways to show the progression of edits through a photo. Otherwise, I never use snapshots. They just, they're great for education, but I don't have a use for them for my other editing. Now, virtual copies, which is the other thing we'll talk about in this video, I use those all the time. And what's a virtual copy? Well, as its name suggests, it's a copy of your photo but it's not copying the file on your computer. Recall with non-destructive editing, we have our source photo down on our computer in, in, you know, in a folder somewhere. And then in Lightroom's catalog, we have a set of instructions. Well, we can create a second set of instructions or a third set of instructions or a fourth set of instructions. All of those can be completely different styles for your edit. And it's a great way to, to try out a black and white treatment versus a color treatment or if you reach a certain point in editing and you're not sure, well, which direction is this photo going to go, create a virtual copy and try your edits out there. You always have another copy that you can uh, you know, just continue on with. And they're very lightweight because you're only making a copy of the instructions. So to make a virtual copy on any photo, you can do this in a library or develop, right click on it and you'll see create virtual copy. Now I've made one of these. Let's clean up our, our interface here a little bit so we have a little more space to work. And so here I have a virtual copy of my photo. Notice as I hover over things, the name of this photo, that's my original. And then you notice I hover over my virtual copy. It tells me it's copy number one. I've made one virtual copy of this photo. I still have a single raw photo in a folder on my computer. I have not made a duplication of the, the photo. I'm not doubling how much storage space I have for the photo. It's a very small set of instructions. Those instructions are these things here, right? And let's look at black and white because that's a, that's a very obvious one. If I look at, actually in the basic panel, I've got my profile, that's where I set my black and white. I'm gonna click on my virtual copy now 
And notice it's different, right? This is Adobe Color. These sliders are different. All of the instructions that I've added to this virtual copy are distinct and separate from what I did originally. One photo on my computer, two different sets of editing instructions. And this is really powerful. I will use this all the time because you can play what if games or you can make multiple treatments. You know, as I look at this color version of the photo, I took it in a different direction, even added more you know, warmth and some, some like semi-directional lighting coming in from where the sun was versus the black and white treatment, which is much cooler, much more of a subject study of you know the water swirling around here. I like both photos, each for different reasons, and virtual copies let me create different sets of editing instructions without having to burn through disk space. So uh, summing all that up, snapshots are points in time of edits in a single photo. So as you're going through your whole history from your base photo all the way into your final product, at any point along the way, you can take a snapshot and you can quickly jump back to that point in your editing session. It's, uh, it's like having named points in your history. A virtual copy is taking a completely separate set of editing instructions. And you can create a virtual copy at any point along the way as well. If you create a virtual copy with, say, 10 editing instructions, those 10 get copied to your virtual copy. And then from there, the two are different. So virtual copies I use all the time in my editing. Snapshots, the only time I ever use them is for videos like this one or when I'm doing a, a video that's showing the major editing steps. So it's not really a part of my standard processing workflow. Hope that answers your question, Jorge, and uh, this helps you out. And for anybody else that was wondering about these two things, again, if you've got questions about photography, feel free to hit me up in the comments, message through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. I'm happy shooting.